Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we've got a little bit of a... Speed Rock! You guys like that? No? No? I don't want to do it. Great. Pete, pick it up. Thank you. The Incredible Hulk number 604. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just great. Sometimes when you get like a lot of uh, superheroes in one comic, it can get kind of muddled. But this, uh, this is awesome. A lot of great, awesome character moments. A lot of fun. Really, you should check it out. Wolverine Wep Weapon X number 7. Here we're dealing with an insane Wolverine, or Wolverine who thinks he's insane. Um, nice story. Definitely a pickup from the uh, first issue into the second. Uh, Same in the membrane. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of cuttings, which uh, I know people like. Supergirl number 47. This is the best issue of Supergirl in a good long while. I know that I've been a little critical of the right. whole crossover stuff that's going on in Superman. This certainly ties into it and finishes off the hunt for reaction on the storyline. But it works as its own issue, really illuminates the character of Allura, uh, Supergirl's mother. And it's a great emotional issue, uh, which Sterling Gates has been doing so well in the past. It brings it back with this. Love it. I love it as well. Hellblazer 261, uh, amazing art, uh, cover's fantastic, but this story continues to be awesome, and it's John Constantine kind of dealing with the lost love. Pretty cool. Invincible number 68, this issue features a lot of crazy occurrences. Yeah. Uh, there's a speech by Adam E's dad that made me really gr grossed out, like totally like grossed out. And then there's a big reveal that's sort of like, okay. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah here's a lot going on. Um, uh, but it's still a pickup. Things keep happening. Yeah, it's definitely a pickup. Comic Book Comics number four. We're big fans of Fred Van Lenty and Ryan Dunlady who make this comic on the show. They're also the makers of the Complete Action Philosophers, which you can definitely pick up. Great comic. This is great. If you want to know something about comic book history in a fun way, read this comic book. It's smart, it's intelligent, it's enjoyable. The other thing that I would say about it is most comic books take five, ten minutes to read something like this. Mm. This is going to take a really long time it's to like read. It's like a great meal. Like it's a Thanksgiving so. feast. I think it's a great bang for your buck. It's $4, but it's going to take you actually $4 worth of time uh, to read. My buck's never banked, so it's I, a great I wish game. Fred Manlanti would go back and do all my social studies books. I would have learned <laughs> something. Uh, Drone it's number one. Out. <laughs> yeah. Drone number one. This is a fantastic start. I'm really excited about this book. Uh, you kind of like kind of see a combo, you still love it. Really cool. Uh, a little bit in the future, but still very awesome. I hate the future. Uh, Realm of Kings one shot. Um, this put, sort of putting the next uh, flagpole in the uh, Marvel space world. Um, I'll tell you what, I love this. I've loved this throughout. This issue is fantastic. Um, it's like a, like Star Wars. It's like if Star Wars were good for the entire six You're episodes. comparing this to Star Wars? It is. It Come is. on, dude. Why? It's a little bit more like Ice Pirates. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Streets there of you go, guys. <laughs> I would say more like Dark Waters. Come, like, I oh, wow. love the Pirates so did I. Dark it's, So did I. It's like a mix between Crawl and something else. <laughs> <laughs> Streets of Gotham. The original V. Oh, that's good. All right. Streets of Gotham but number six. Uh, the first story in here with Mad Bat and Huntress, I liked well enough, but it wraps up so quickly it's insane mm -hmm. where it's they have the end of the conflict they're like and that's the explanation goodbye and you're just done with it See that? but this title is totally worth it for the Manhunter backup I love Manhunter love so it. much so good so layered and so much story I love layers pictures. like an onion Zorro number 17 I, uh, like I say it every time like a snack. but it's uh, it's amazing it's just classic Zorro so well done it's just action packed Fantastic. Really sticking to the character and making it amazing. I gotta agree with Pete. I just feel like so many other modern interpretations of Zorro are such a mess. Well, let's take that Sherlock Holmes book that we reviewed before. That's a crappy version of the Sherlock Holmes I love. This takes Zorro and keeps it classic and amazing. Can't argue with that. What would you say? Antonio Banderas as Zorro or this is Zorro? Yeah. Which is better? Which this, is better? yeah. That, that wasn't a good Really? But it wasn't. Catherine Zeta Jones was in both of those movies. She's, she's a really he, good he cuts, he Z's her dress off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember her dress that. off and then she sells some phones, I think. Yeah. yeah. The she first really one was kind of decent, but the second one was, you know, not as good. Oh, really? That second show? She did. She did marry an older gentleman, as I remember. Hey, is this a speed round or a sewing circle? We've got tons of time. A sewing circle? 
Uh, the Brave and the Bold, number 29, uh, featuring your favorite character, Brother Power the Geek. Yeah. Uh, back to, up to his old tricks. Um, I like this uh, comic as a concept. I would like to feature some characters that maybe have a little more going on, but the stories are still good. Um, JMS, please finish the 12. Why don't you just go finish the 12, and then we can come back to this when you have some stuff. There you go. Underground, number three, listen, Hollywood, I'm talking to you. Just pick up this comic already, all right? Yeah. First of all, Jeff Parker, he does well for himself, but he needs a little bit of a break, I think. Yeah. D- give him a break. Yeah, give hey, him a Michael break, Bay. Hey, break. Underground give is like cliffhanger break. in a cave. That's pretty much what it is. Oh, it's cool. a, such oh, an easy concept. Good. It's so easy because he, they're on a mountain usually. And they yeah, and there was that moment where one of them had him and they like dropped an him. action movie already. You could oh. take this and put it right up on a screen. It's like five. Star Wars in a cave. No, no, I don't think so. It's a little more like know. Crawl. It's Maybe like Crawl. crawl. Like it's like Ace Ventura 2. Uh, in, but in, in a cave. cave. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Crawl. I don't know. <laughs> Crawl, fans Crawl out now in theaters. <laughs> Cowboy Ninja Viking number two. This is insane, but I love this comic. Oh, okay. The first one was Crazy Tom. The second one picks right, right up where it left off. But it's a little bit better. I really think this is like a fine wine. Getting better with each issue. Uh, fantastic. Weird, but awesome. Artwork works. Pick it up. The artwork works. So many nouns just running amok. Uh, Money Avengers number 31. I feel like Money Avengers uh, right now is sort of the uh, the unwanted uh, child of the Avengers universe. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a lot of great continuity moves in here, and the stories Dan are good. Dan Slott doing yeoman, Dan, and Chris Gage doing yeoman's work on this book. Like, let's pick it up for a good old-fashioned Avengers story. Agreed. Last but not least, Dr. Horrible, number one, by Zach Whedon, the red-headed stepchild oh, here we go. of Joss Whedon. Probably not. That, I mean, he's actually his son. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, so oh, and also he probably doesn't have red I'm hair. surprised that you would Following up here. on the fantastic web series. This is a fun one-shot. If you like the web series, you're going to like this. If you didn't watch the web series, you're probably not going to like this. But I would recommend so you watch honest. the web series. Go see this. This follows up nicely. And it doesn't annoy me in the same way that often taking live actors and putting them in the comic page normally does. Ah, ah. For example, Buffy. What? Did you mumble something at the end of that? Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris is amazing. Guys, there's a bunch of places you can check us out. You can write us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com. Also check out the rest of the places here. Could you wait a second before you start bagging? (laughs) No, no, I gotta make sure they're back because there's open beers. Oh, this harmful air. You spit a lot when you talk. Well, no, and I have uh, this acid lizard that crawls around on the floor. Eating comic books. That's not going to be good okay. when the baby's born. Yeah. Uh, New York yeah, City Tuesdays, 8 o'clock. You should I come see our live show. You wish. It does work good when two people are talking at the same time. Live well, show, 8 o'clock. Who's English. directing this? Live show, 8 o'clock. Wait, what Tuesday. are you waiting for? Yep. Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, live show. Nice. <laughs> I think you really nailed it. You're like the crawl of this show. <laughs> I'm more like that uh, spinning thing he throws. The glaive? I always come back. <laughs> you love crawl. Do you want to regret saying that real quick? <laughs> saying no. the glaive? <laughs> Let's just rewind it. Yeah, Let's sure. Just rewind it. Uh, you guys who are still watching, say the, please say, watch. Say the spinning thing again. That spinning thing you do. The spinning thing. I have no idea what that is. I'm a regular human who has real life. They would never <laughs> know that information or say it publicly on camera. Oh, two, three.